Hey everybody, blessings and welcome once again to For His Glory Couponing with a Purpose. Today I am sharing a small haul that I did at Walgreens. I did a spend 50 transaction which turned out to be completely free and then I did another small transaction with some L'Oreal and some clearance games. So let's get started. For transaction one, I decided to do a spend 50 deal that was going to include multiple digital boosters that Walgreens had given us last week into this week. So I had a regular spend 50, get $10 in Walgreens cash. I also had a spend 25 and get $7 in Walgreens cash. We also received additional boosters that were product specific, where if you spent $30 on cough and cold and pain, medicines you would get ten dollars back in walgreens cash and then we also received a spend 25 dollars in personal and beauty care and get seven dollars back in walgreens cash so what i did was i picked up the three olay the olay products were on sale for seven dollars and we have a promotion that when you buy three you would get a five dollar register reward and when you spend $15 on PNG products, you would get a $5 store register reward. Now, the three cost $21, and I had a $5 off three digital coupon on the Walgreens app, which brought the cost down to $16. After receiving the two $5 register rewards, that's going to bring our costs down to just $6 for all three or two dollars each but the deal got even better because i had a five dollar rebate on the ibotta app on the purchase of three so that's going to make all three of these bottles of olay just one dollar or 33 cents each but it's going to get better as we work it into the spend 50 deal so what did i do next i picked up the two Advil liquid gels, they are $9.99 each for a total of $19.98. We have a digital coupon for $6 off two on the Walgreens app, which is going to bring that down to $13.98. There is also a promotion that when you buy two, you will get back a $5 register reward. And these items also qualify towards the spend 30 digital booster and get $10 back in Walgreens cash. So what I added to that was the children's Advil and the infant Motrin. The Advil is $8.79 and the Motrin is $7.79. So the total of the four products together was $36.56, and I've met the requirement for the spend 30, get 10 in Walgreens cash. I didn't have any coupons for the Children's Advil or the Motrin, but that's okay. As we all know, there have been some shortages on kids medication so i took the opportunity to grab that in the event that somebody i know needs them because this did happen to me almost two weeks ago where i was approached by someone looking for medication for their five-year-old child all right so all four products 36 dollars and 56 cents minus the six dollar off two advil digital coupon brought it down to 30.56 then after i received the ten dollars in walgreens cash for spend 30 and the five dollar store register reward that's going to leave me a balance of 1556 or 389 but we're still not done and the last items in this transaction are the colgate toothpaste once again they are on sale for three dollars and 99 cents making both of them seven dollars and 98 cents 
we have a four dollar off two digital coupon on the walgreens app which is going to make them three dollars and 98 cents then there is a promotion that when you buy two you get back four dollars in walgreens cash that is going to make these free and a two cent money maker so now let's take a look at the transaction as a whole including all of the products the total for all of these products was $65.54. I normally stay as close to the $50 as possible, but I did want to grab those Advil and Motrin children's medication. So that brought me to $65.54. I had coupons of $15.00. And that was the $5 off the 3 Olay, the $6 off of the two Advil liquid gels, and $4 off of the Colgate toothpaste. That brought my total down to $50.50. Nope, $50.54. I used $13 in register rewards that I had that were expiring, and that brought my total down to $37.54. I know that that is high, but again, I did choose a couple of products that I didn't have any coupons for, and I was also using a paper booster in addition to all those digital boosters of spend 40 and get $9 back. And this is another reason why it's good to use our rebate apps, get Visa or MasterCard gift cards, because um, they really help to pay for everything. And it's what I ended up doing. So $37.54. And for rewards, I ended up getting back in Walgreens cash, I got $47. It was 10 for the weekly digital booster spend 50, 10 for the 30 in meds, $7 for any purchase of $25, $7 for spend 25 in personal care, $9 for my paper booster of spend 40. And then I also got back $4 in Walgreens cash for the Colgate toothpaste. So that was $47, actually $47.61 with the extra little everyday points they give. And then in register rewards, I got $5 for spending 15 in PNG. My $5 register reward did not print for buying three of the Olay products. And then I got the $5 store register reward for the Advil. And what I did was I did go through customer service and they gave me $5 in Walgreens cash for the Olay register reward that didn't print. So that was another $15 in rewards. And then adding that to the 47, it came out to $62 in rewards. Now I didn't mention I did pay tax and the tax for this transaction was $2.35. So it was 39 89 out of my pocket and i got back 62 dollars and 61 cents in rewards from walgreens five dollars back from ibotta and then i did submit my receipt to fetch but i only got three cents back so no biggies going on with the colgate or anything so 67 dollars and 64 cents back in rewards and before I go on to transaction two, I just want to give you the breakdown for the Olay and the Colgate that I did for the personal care spend deal of get seven when you spend 25. That was a total of $28.98 after subtracting the $5 Olay coupon and the $4 Colgate coupon, it came down to $19.98. Now you cannot use Walgreens cash to pay for this, but you can use register rewards and you can use a gift card, whatever other means, just not the Walgreens cash. And you will get back a $5 register reward for spending 15 on P&G, a $5 register reward for buying three of the Olay, which is a deal of the week. 
you will get $4 back in Walgreens cash for the Colgate and then the $7 in Walgreens cash for spending the 25 on this deal. That's going to make that free and a dollar and two cent money maker. But then you'll also submit your receipt to Ibotta where you will get back $5 for um, buying the three Olay and that's going to make it free and a six dollar and two cent money maker. For transaction two, I picked up two of the L'Oreal moisturizers. They are $13.49 on sale, buy one, get one 50% off, making the second one $6.74 for a total of $20.23. We have a $12 digital coupon on the app off of two products, which will come off and make both of them just $8.23. Now, I goofed up on this transaction because... I forgot it was a spend 20, get a $5 register reward. And I was thinking that I needed to buy two to get the $5 register reward. So I decided to pick up these two games, charades for kids at $1.39 each, which brought my total to $11.01 so that I could use $10 in Walgreens cash and pay the dollar out of my pocket. So that's what I ended up doing. And then my register reward did not print. And I ended up realizing, I went back to take a look at the sign that I was supposed to spend 20, not just buy two. I was going to return them but because I used Walgreens cash, I know that they were just going to give me a Walgreens gift card and I wasn't going to get my coupon back. So I would have had to pay the $20.23 because I wasn't sure if my son had the $12 coupon on his app so that I could redo it that way. But I did use $10 in Walgreens cash. They are good, expensive products. And it's just a um, loss that I took on, on that one, but not really because I didn't pay the whole $11 out of my pocket. So live and learn. And it reminds me to be more prepared. I had boosters and register rewards that were expiring. So I went about an hour before the store was closing to hurry up and grab these products and deciding which meds to get on the spend 30 deal was a little bit of the challenge because of the lack of coupons but when i saw the children's products i ended up putting that together well guys that's all that i have for you today i want to thank you for taking the time to stop and watch my video i appreciate you if you enjoyed this video or found it useful in any kind of way Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help me to continue to grow here on the YouTube platform. That being said, be blessed, and I will catch you on the next one.